Oh my god. <laughs> What's good with the earth signs? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Moo. Today we're going to collect a message for the earth signs. That means Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could resonate for your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. It's timeless, so it can resonate whenever you're seeing this, okay? Well, I've, already, I've pulled the spread and well. So yeah, don't force this to fifth take. It resonates, leave it doesn't. Um... Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so whoever I'm picking up on, there are a lot of people in your energy right now, <laughs> okay? Um, I feel like you have some kind of connection in your life. You may, be, you may be connecting with somebody right now that you have a really, you share a really special bond with them or you could feel a really strong um, pull towards this person. This may be someone that you you get along with really well, that you feel very passionate toward each other. Um, and yeah, it's really special. It's kind of like a sacred union that I'm picking up on. And it, it feels really sacred. It feels like you have to be very protective over this connection that's coming in for you right now. Okay. Cause, um, so some of you, you may have multiple people interested in you. Um, yeah, you may have multiple people interested in you right now, but there's one particular person, all right, that it feels like this is a water sign that could be from your past. Uh, this could be an ex that uh, I'm going to tell you right now, it looks like this person is obsessed with you and it's the way that these cards have come out, okay? That you could have an ex that is obsessed with you, <laughs> all right? But I do see that you are manifesting like unconditional love. You are manifesting a divine union. You are manifesting something really new when it comes to your love life, okay? And though there may be a new person in your life, it's it feels like you sort of know this person on a soul level. What's up with my microphone, bro? Look at that. <laughs> Let me see if that shit's working. Yeah, yeah, it's working, it's working. It just, <clears throat> it turned off even though it was plugged in. All right, and that is actually very, very, <laughs> very, very <clears throat> significant. Um, so I could hear the sound coming back. Okay, this is the thing. Whoever I'm reading for today, you have like some crazy obsessive ex. <laughs> All right, you have... Okay, maybe they're not crazy, but they're very, very, very much obsessed with you. They're very, very, very much um, very possessive over you. They. This is someone who may have played a lot of mind games to keep you in their energy. Um, they may do really manipulative things at times to get your attention, or this could have been in the past. There's a reason that that microphone just, like, it looked like it was turned off, and it's because whoever I'm reading for, the way that these cards have come out, I'm seeing that your higher self is literally telling you to, like, <laughs> like hide from this person or keep this new relationship very hidden. Um, it's almost like you're being guided to move very strategically when it comes to you connecting with your new person or whoever this person is, right? This person that you're connected to, it may be someone you've even known for a long time, um, but your your bond is deepening. It's like you're getting to know this person on a deeper level. You may have even, some of you may have been intimate with someone, with this person I'm picking up on, um, this soul connection, but... <laughs> Like I'm saying, it's like you are being divinely guided to be very, very quiet about this, this connection that you have in your life right now. Okay, I'm seeing that your ex is currently, it's like they are going through some really bad karma because the justice is in reverse, right? You seem to have set some boundaries with this ex. You may be giving them attitude. You may have, you may just be really detached emotionally from them. Um, you know, if this, if your ex was trying to talk to you, it's it's kind of like they just get a very cold demeanor from you. It's like Queen of Swords energy. Um, if they were to, you know, try and get in your energy, it's like they'd be met with, yeah, just like a pretty, 
disinterested, pretty f like flat emotional energy. And it's, I'm seeing that <clears throat> it's almost as if you've been moved out of the way here because this person from your past, this ex, this, this water sign, for some of you, they could be an air sign as well. And I'm also getting Virgo. They could be a Capricorn or a really, really, um, I'm kind of getting like a very delusional person. Um, you may be dealing with a Pisces or a Libra as well. But yeah, it's something about this, this person from your past. It's like they're delusional, okay? And yeah, I don't know how, I don't know why. Maybe you had some readings or some signs from your higher self to... I'm just getting like slide out of this person's life because what's sliding into this person from your past life is a whole lot of bad karma, okay? So you've been guided to put up a wall between you and this person. Um, you may have been given the lowdown that they had some karma that they were about to receive or you may have just felt like being around this ex of yours was bringing about bad karma for you. Um, let's see if we can find out like why why you left. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, you left because you, you were guided to leave. You were guided to complete this cycle with this person from your past. <clears throat> your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your whole spirit team <laughs> literally told you to get away from someone. They're at work here, okay? They could be involved. Your, your spirit team could be involved in the karma that this ex is about to receive or currently receiving. And um, this is why you've been moved out of the way. Okay, so it's like hush, 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 right? Even though you could speak to this ex, the way that microphone just bugged out, it's like the way that you could you could speak to this person, but you're you're being guided not to. You're being guided to actually keep a secret here, okay? Not in a way that not in a way that is harmful to anyone, but it would be more harmful to you to talk to this ex to tell this ex what's going on in your love life because this person is still very much obsessed with you, okay? And I mean this tribe. Um, like it is really full on and you are. You are manifesting something brand new with someone, um, right? Even if it's just this one person that you have a connection with and it's not multiple people, if there's multiple people, um, you may have a choice between two people is what I'm getting. Okay, but I feel like you you kind of gravitate. Oh, wow. My heart just jumped. You're gravitating toward the person that makes your heart jump. You're gravitating towards the person that invokes the most passion in you. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, this ex wasn't doing that um, for you. That's what it feels like. So yeah, things have really, really slowed down between you and this ex. I really feel like this is an ex, for some of you, this could be even an ex family member, like someone that was part of your family that you don't consider your family anymore. And it's just about to come up to 555. So as I'm saying, it's like you've made some pretty positive changes here for your highest good. Okay, you are in alignment, but it's wild because your higher self is actually manifesting the seven of swords. <laughs> so for me to see that, it means that your higher self is actually telling you to to either I don't I don't know if it's lie um but it's the moon reverse and the seven of swords it's like you have to keep some kind of secret right now you have to move in a way that you know your ex may perceive as very <laughs> shady um manipulative but it's not that it's actually for your own protection you're you know what's best for you in this situation okay and you're being guided to, to do it, to avoid some kind of conflict or some kind of drama, okay? And to actually get the commitment that you have been desiring, okay? Because you have a commitment coming in with someone that literally this person is like they embody unconditional love. They, they may have this goddess or <clears throat> high priest energy. Um, they may be just... It's someone really, really beautiful, right? And I mean inside, outside. This is someone so freaking beautiful. It's like when you see them, 
maybe you become starry eyed. <laughs> um, <clears throat> And I see that this ex of yours, they wanted to they wanted to give you an offer, right? It's like they want you to come back. They this person, like you are always on their mind. This ex, even if the, whoever this is, because I got family members as well. Family members, not who you think they are. So it could be a family member as well. Um, but they have some like obsession with you. Like I don't know why I'm getting this person's very, very delusional right they're obsessed because you've walked away from them and you had to walk away from this person because you knew what was coming for them that's what i'm getting or you knew it was going to bring you bad karma to be attached to this 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 person from your past okay so yeah things have really come to a standstill between you and them and um like i'm saying you got your boundaries up tribe but it's your higher self and your lower self that is literally telling you to not show your cards right now okay maybe not to talk to this ex maybe not to t not to you know post your new person on social media or let your ex know about or this person from your past to let not to let them know about this this connection that's in your life right now this person that literally makes your heart jump that literally makes your heart come alive this person that you feel so much passion for um yeah, you're being guided right now, especially over this next week, to kind of keep it on the low, is what I'm getting. Otherwise, if you don't, um, this obsessive, this obsessive person is going to kind of do whatever they can in their power to make sure that it doesn't work out between you and your new person, okay, or you and this soulmate. Um, I'm also seeing you know, you've really listened to your gut, you've really listened to your higher self here by refusing to work on a connection with this, this karmic, okay, that's what I'm getting, there's a serious karmic on the loose here, let's see what they're doing, I just feel, honestly, like, even over the next month, you may find this ex of yours, or this person from the past, okay, Especially if it's a family member, like, I don't know, it's like there's talking going on, there's, like, this person really wants to pry into your energy, they really want to find out what you're doing, they want to find out who you're with, all of that, okay, they want to know who you're seeing, it's like they can feel that you are moving on, and if they actually had proof or evidence that you had someone new in your life, what would they do? Yeah, it's they try to create a third party interference, right? This this they try to be a third party interference. If this is a family member, it's like they would literally try to interfere in your relationship. Okay, so that's why you're being guided to be really really hush about this. Because, yeah, you're, you're dealing with with a serious, um, I was going to say energy vampire, okay? And you've remembered, like, whatever you remember about this, this family member, this ex, whatever you remember about them, it's like when you think about when you spend time with them or, yeah, when you was around their energy, you remember how you felt, right? People will forget what you said, what you did, but you will always remember. They will always remember how they felt. And I can tell you that you remembered how you felt around this ex of yours and you felt like your energy was being depleted, okay? Because potentially because of this person's obsession over you, but also it could have been because they were playing um, mind games with you. For some of you, it could be because they were trying to get you to do really low vibrational stuff. They could have been um, like, this person is so lustful over you as well. For some of you, if it's not a family member, okay. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. It's like you just had sign after sign after sign after sign to let this person go. You just had sign after sign to be single, all right, to free yourself from this, the bondage of this person because they are very controlling. And this person could have done a lot of things to try to control you through, with fear, 
you know? But leaving them has literally bring about so much joy into your life, okay? I'm seeing you are growing ever since you've moved on from this ex or this fam toxic family member. You are growing so much. You are healing, um, you know, just, just from leaving this person out in the cold and from listening to your ancestors, okay? You really listened to them. And, and I'm getting this, this new love that's coming into your life. This is not a stressful thing, okay? They aren't coming in to stress you out in any way like this past person um, did. And yeah, there's no stress involved in, oh my God, I'm telling you. Like this, I was just thinking, what, what are they trying to do? What would they do? This person would literally almost curse your your new connection. Current, it could be current for some of you. Oh yeah, I said that, didn't I? Sorry, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit everywhere today. Um, but no, wow. This is this is a divine union that I'm picking up on, tribe. That's coming into your orbit, right? It's unfolding, and I feel like your angels bring this person in. And this is, a, this is someone that your guides were trying to bring in for you for a while. Um, some of you could be even about to meet this person. And, you know, if you feel called to sort of get away from your your ex, this family member, this could be, just understand, like, that's, that's part of how it has to be organized, okay? So, yeah, this could be almost like future tense for some of you. But, yeah, you're being, you're called to literally be very, very quiet. Okay, because, <laughs> and to keep a secret, like, can you keep a secret? That's what I'm being called to say. Can you keep this secret for your own highest good? Right? You aren't, you aren't being called to, you know, to go out and show off about this new connection and brag about this new connection. You're not being called to like, just put it all out there. Because like I'm saying, this is something that is so beautiful. It's worth protecting, right? And this person would literally, this this karmic would literally come in and just curse the whole connection if they if they found out, right? If they had any access to you, right? This is what you're actually fighting against. Um, so it's interesting, like, what is this ex? What is their intentions right now? Or this past person from the past? What's their intentions? But I do feel like they are trying to move on from you, but no, they're not. <laughs> They, they want to move on from you, okay? I feel like they're trying, but like I'm saying, they're addicted to you. They, they are obsessed with you, so they're going to want to reconcile with you. All right, they're waiting. This person's waiting. They're very possessive over your energy. All right, but I'm getting for some of you, if you haven't slept with this new person, um, I don't know, I just, I feel a big buildup of sexual energy. It feels like there's a lot of, um, like, respect a lot of a lot of dignity in this union okay but if you have slept with them um you know it's probably bring about some kind of activation okay you and this person you're going to activate each other in some way you and this new person in your life right but you may be somebody that has like some of you may resonate with having a lot of options or people kind of can fighting to get in your energy right now you could have multiple people trying to get in your energy but it seems like you're only interested in this one person okay that makes you it, they literally activate your heart space okay and i can feel that um this karmic though they're basically waiting you know for you to you know this karmic is pulling on your heartstrings Right? It's like they're angry. They, they really want your love, but your heart is being guarded. Okay, It's also guarded by this new love in your life, but it's guarded by your angels and your ancestors. Man, it's like whatever this motherfucker was trying to do with your heart space or do with your energy, your angels and ancestors said, no, nah, no. Nah. They did everything to send you signs, warnings to get away from this person, to end things with them. Okay, That this, this ex of yours could have betrayed you. They could have... You could have broken up with them. They could have tried to cause chaos in your life. But like I'm saying, like, this is serious. This is serious. Like, there's some kind of 
divine union coming in here. This could be like twin flame, soulmate, um, you know, someone you may want to be parents with. It's like you and them, you care. You care very much for each other. You and this new person, this connection that's come in. Sorry, I keep repeating myself. Or I feel like I am, but you care very much for each other. All right? I'm also getting, for some of you, if you are well off financially, I'm seeing that this ex of yours was very, could have been superficial. They could have been really after your money and or waiting to get their hands in, on your money. Um, this is also what your ancestors saw, and that's why they evicted them out of your energy, okay? And you also may have just lost attraction for them, all right? And that... That could have been a difficult truth for you to come to terms with, but I am seeing that once you did come to terms with that, you felt a lot more content emotionally just being on your own, okay? A lot more stable, even just being on your own for a bit, but now you have this person in your energy, okay? You have this new person in your energy. All you have to do <laughs> is remember not to be too loud, right? Just try to stay humble about this connection coming in, okay? Because this person that you're currently um, connected with, they're gonna do something really, really good for you, okay? They're gonna do something that's gonna help your energy field expand um, or reset. You know, this is someone who would, oh, you, it's like, seriously, Tribe, you are healing from somebody who had a mental illness. And this new person, they're coming in almost to help you through that right? And there's someone who's going to take you to do activities that are healthy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like whatever this past person wanted you to do, they wanted you to dwell in addiction. They wanted you to dwell in um, maybe lustful things. They wanted you to dwell in mind games. They wanted you to be obsessed over them, right? But I'm telling you, that shit affected your energy field. And your guides knew that there was someone better for you, someone that would be a lot more healthy for you, and it feels like you're aligned with them right now. Okay, family of light. It keeps coming out today, right? The fact you are of the, you could be a member of the family of light. Um, so they're telling me like, mm. the family of light basically protects you guys. Okay, they could see also that you were vulnerable in this situation and this is why they sent you sign after sign after sign after sign after sign after sign after sign to get away from this person okay not this new person i'm talking about this karmic okay i'm also seeing monitoring spirits i don't know why but they're showing me a cockroach they're showing me a cockroach and i'm hearing the word bathroom so you think about like you think about the bathroom right you think about like, obviously, when you're in the bathroom, <laughs> you, you're you vulnerable as well, right? You're, you know, getting, taking your clothes off and, um, yeah, just doing things that are private, right? Things you wouldn't want people to see. I don't know, but maybe for some of you, this ex of yours could have tried to invade your, <laughs> your privacy or this family member could have tried to invade your privacy in the bathroom is what they're showing me. Something about cockroach, like a monitoring spirit trying to look at your body. Um, that's whack because you wouldn't, um, do something or you aren't feeding them. Okay. You're not feeding this person. Some of you, you're this person from the past, this karmic, they could be, they could be like a narcissist, um, You, I don't know, maybe once upon a time you, you were desperate for, that, for this person's energy, attention, validation, could be something like that, but not anymore. It's like you've stopped doing that or maybe you stopped giving them breadcrumbs to sort of pick up. You know what I mean? Like I'm seeing this person really got cut off. It's like no friendship, no relationship, no nothing, right? Just cold turkey. It's, I don't feel like it's because you were trying to punish this person. It feels like that's what you were literally divinely guided to do and to move in silence. Like, wow. And you doing that has brought in someone really special, okay? This may be someone that you talk with on the phone, okay? It's like you guys have really, really great conversations 
um, something coming up here. Or you will be, so you know, some of you, this is someone coming in. I don't know, this feels like a really whacked out timeline because some of you may resonate from what you just went through. It could resonate with something that's going to happen in the future. And some of you could resonate with what's going on now, but <clears throat> bruh, I feel like whoever this ex is, they're going to start like obsessively calling you or, you know, saying, oh, there's been a misunderstanding. They may try to, you know, do something to make you feel uh, like going to freeze, they're saying, like, like freeze mode. This, like, <clears throat> this person is determined to be with you. It's like they can't see themselves with anyone else other than you. Um, if this is a family member, it's like they're going to call you up and be like, oh, there was some kind of misunderstanding. We misunderstood each other. Okay. Um, especially if you are someone who's very successful or you're on your way to some, whatever you did, whatever you consider success. Okay. This family member stalking you, right? This, this person that's obsessed with you, they're, they're basically stalking you. <clears throat> Like in the spiritual realm as well, right? This is why some of you could be feeling tied down or frustrated. But, yeah, like th this could be really opportunistic as well. Like th if it's a family member, they could want to just latch on to you for what they can, what you're about to receive or what you're receiving in an alternate timeline, you know? It's like you're a different version of yourself. You integrated the lessons that you were supposed to learn. You passed the test you were supposed to learn and... Yeah, there's something about phone calls, okay? Some of you, you are slowly but surely getting ahead when it comes to your goals. Okay, I'm seeing that <clears throat> for this collective, this is resonating for you. We've got April and great happiness. So by the next April, whenever you're seeing this, there's something that's like growing. It's going to blossom for you by April and bring in a lot of happiness for you, okay? Like a lot of joy. It's almost like a symphony. And for some of you, this could also be happening in January. So, yeah. If you have dealt with any financial pinch from being around this karmic, uh, just know that it's it's given you a lot of more, it's going to give you a lot more wisdom in the end. Okay, so let's see what's going on with this current relationship. Good news, okay? Yeah, like I'm saying, it feels like you could talk on the phone with this person or maybe messaging them. Um, you know, you're going to be hearing good news from this person that you're connected with right now, okay? And connecting with this person is going to bring you good karma. Like, I really mean it. There's there's a lot of financial gain coming to you guys, right? The, the, all the month cards are coming out. May and June is going to be really significant for you guys. Yeah, May and June, you got guaranteed success. So by April, by January, April, you got... You got happiness coming in, you know, you got alignment, you got slowly but surely getting ahead, you got this, something's going to be bringing you a lot of joy, okay? And then a couple months, fast forward a couple months into the future, this is why this timeline feels really funny, fast forward a couple more months into the future, you're going to be glowing, like you're going to be shining, like you, your success will be guaranteed and a period of frustration will be over, okay? But there's something about this, right? And I feel like this this person that's stalking you, and they do, they have some kind of delusion like in their mind about you. Um, they're very obsessed with your beauty, right? If you're very be beautiful, this family member could be very jealous of your beauty, very jealous of your strength. Yeah, look, <laughs> you, we, I just pull clarity. Okay, stopping to listen to my inner self, I can easily separate my intuition from my mental chatter. The clarity of my intuition is sweet, simple fruit that tastes familiar, and the mental chatter is confusing. Better rind I shall peel off and chuck into the garbage. So I mean, you may have clarity, you may have found out something about this, this karmic where, I don't know, something about their... Their mental state is very unstable. Okay, look what I just pulled. 
telling you like this person is not good and i'm telling you like your ancestors are just slashing this person they're, they're about to slash this person with karma if they're not already i don't know what they did to you okay or how they treated you or what kind of pit to hell this person was trying to drag you into but when i say their karma is not good it is not good okay the people around them are also a part of their karma the people that are going to be coming into this person's life is also a part of the karma that they're going to receive okay and they could be trying to run from that right this person could be trying to run from their karma and it's like that they do that by always trying to come back to you obsessing over you i mean it look at this love on the brain dreaming fantasizing daydreaming nostalgic this person thinks you're just trying to run away from them right but you really love them like, and you really want to be with them. This is what I mean. Like, it's it's a bit delusional, okay? But, you know, I'm getting, you're not, you're not threatened by this, this karmic. You're not intimidated by this karmic. You have full faith that your, your spirit team is guiding you in the right direction, okay? And it's pretty evident, just as I said that, it's pretty evident that they're guiding you in the right direction based on the person that they're bringing in for some of you and for some of you, the person that you've already met. Okay, like some of you, this this karmic could have wanted been so obsessed with you that they didn't want you to have anything to compare their love to. You know what I mean? Or compare them to. This could have caused a lot of fights. This this person's possessiveness over you, like very competitive energy as well. You know, they conceal a lot of things. Right? They, like I'm saying, you could be someone really, really, really attractive. This person, if you're really attractive and successful, this person, they wanted to marry you for money or they wanted to be in your life for money. Okay? If, if you're really attractive, this person, it's like they were always fighting people off um, so that you wouldn't, I don't know, they, they may have this fear that you were going to cheat on them. Um, it's like people could kind of come at your energy and... You know, I feel like you'd have the potential to have like multiple lovers or secret lovers or something here, but you, you don't, you know, I feel like you are a loyal person. Um, but it's just something about this is what they were always at war with. Like this person never wanted you to like even have the opportunity to, to even like look at somebody else, be with somebody else, entertain anybody else. Um, right because yeah man it, it's like what the fuck it's like this person this karmic wow i got 30 minutes this can be a long one tribe it's like this karmic they it's like they want you to fix something for them or they wanted you to fix things for them because for some of you you do you have this really stable rich business owner energy you could be a ceo but you don't have to i feel like some of you you're on some kind of, yeah, you may be getting an offer soon or an opportunity uh, when it comes to business. But yeah, like I'm saying, like you guys are on your way to success and I'm seeing like a big breakthrough uh, next year. By the middle of next year, it's, it's wild how this is coming out. Oh my gosh, this person, like their obsession with you, it ain't even cute. It ain't even cute. Like it's giving them a bad reputation. <laughs> But they can't keep themselves away from you. Like, why? Why can't they stay away from collective? You just pulled a blank. This is what I mean. Like, this person don't even know. They don't even know. But stay quiet, okay? Um, stay quiet about the blessings coming in to your life, including if they're coming in the form of people right now. Because if this ex finds out, like, obviously, you know, you want to be proud of the person that you're with and all that. But if this ex finds out, they're going to be very, very angry, okay? And they're going to do things that you probably don't want to call into your reality. So stay on a hush-hush. You know I love you, tribe. I'll see you in the next one.